reliable and unpretentious. That's what they usually say about this car. Due to the considerable price, the third generation Grand Vitara did not become a bestseller. However, in the end, over the years of sales, she gathered a fair audience. By the way, why is she? He. Japanese SUV, it's an SUV. Only the three-door 1.6-liter version with 106 horses, which you rarely see in Ukraine, is content with a simpler all-wheel drive system, not the most efficient cam self-block without a lower gear. In other cases, everything is fair, downshift, Rosdika, blocking, two universal joints and an optional rear differential lock are an ideal arsenal for our reality. However, despite the positive reputation of each version of the car, there are some problems that you should pay attention to when buying. The most popular in our country are versions with inline petrol 4s with a volume of 2.0 liters, 140 horsepower, and 2.4 liters, 168 horsepower. For petrol versions with V6 2.7 and GM's V6 3.2 in total, no more than 2% of the used Grand Vitara market remains. So let's leave them out of brackets. In addition, the fuel consumption of gasoline V6S, and subsequently a fair oil burner, you probably won't like it very much. So, a common place for all motors is their reliability, which allows, with proper care, to nurse up to 400,000 km. The 1.6 engine, however, is frankly weak even for a lightweight three-door body. The same can be said about the 2.0-liter engine. This motor, by the way, is not bad in maintenance, the repair dimensions of the parts of the connecting rod and piston group are known in the services. The only complaint about them is the timing chain, which stretches to 150,000 km, starts to make noise and wears out more actively, which can lead to a brake. So you should not neglect the control of the oil level and engine noise. In addition, there is a nuance with oil, with a run of 120,000 km, a consumption of 250 milliliters per 1,000 kilometers is considered the norm. Motor 2.4 appeared after the first restyling in 2008. After a 100,000th run, he also becomes partial to oil, but the timing drive is more reliable here. Chain replacement is not required. However, repair sizes and spare parts for a large-scale capital by 2.4 can no longer be found, and replacements with nodes come out very expensive. Gearboxes, in fact, too a strong 5-speed mechanics and, as they say, an even more reliable 4-speed automatic. Its resource is close to the resource of the car as a whole. You can get a 5-speed automatic transmission, it is more brisk and switches smoothly, only with a V6 engine. By the way, there will be no problems with it either. If you change the oil in a disciplined manner every 60,000 km and monitor the cleanliness of the box cooling radiator. However, the main problems with the transmission lie, rather, in the Rosditka. No, the mechanism itself is reliable if the oil is changed every 40,000 km. But the owner of each car knows about the problem with the current transfer case oil seal. This is at the junction with the gearbox, so to replace the penny part, you have to dismantle the entire assembly. And the regularity of the problem is fair, once every 50 to 100,000 km. Minor problems occur, then the Suzuki Grand Vitara, with careful operation, ages without serious problems. The body is immune to rust. Some complain only about the thin metal of the hood, it easily misses. There are no special claims to the electrician, but if the owners of the car praise the interior moderately, it is still a little spartan, then the suspension is treated with great reverence. She's pretty tough, but she knows her stuff. Frequent problems are the wear of the front stabilizer bushings and the souring of the bolts, for two to three years, in the rear levers, which are responsible for adjusting the toe and camber angles. Well, the frequency of routine replacements for the suspension will definitely please you. There is no demolition. As a result, we get an honest car with a real Japanese margin of safety. Selling one after several years of operation for good money is not difficult, and we hope that you will have to buy expensive Japanese spare parts infrequently. A common story, sometimes every 15,000 kilometers, is the replacement of the front stabilizer bushings. The rear silent blocks of the front levers are rented to 70 to 80,000 km. Leverage, alas, change only in the collection. By the way, shock absorbers and wheel bearings will not bother you before 100,000 km. And ball joints are almost eternal. On cars up to 2008 onwards, the front gearbox has a flaw. At a speed of under 100 to a run of 80,000 km, when coasting, the main pair howls. The problem is removed only by the installation of a new, modified gearbox. The manufacturer has significantly strengthened its design. The note is expensive, about 40,000 Ukrainian hryvni. Oil leakage through the crankshaft rear oil seal is a common problem. Alas, 
In order to replace it, you will have to remove the gearbox. Valve stem seals and seals are a weak point, they will have to be changed often. Another consumable is the catalyst. It may require replacement every 80,000 kilometers, and costs up to 25,000 Ukrainian hryvni. Problems with air conditioning or climate control occur after the first 100,000 runs. The fan motor may fail, sometimes the fan control really fails. In addition, there are cases when the damper drives in the stove burst and the motors of the temperature control system burn. The power structure of the body provides a high level of passive safety, but the front end absorbs the impact energy too effectively. Hence, in case of small accidents, significant damage to the body and, as a result, expensive repairs. The fifth door sags under the spare tire, but adjusting the hinges fixes the problem. 